Good afternoon. I uh, just thought I'd do a principal update on what has been probably one of the busiest weeks we've had at Lydia Park Academy. I like to just say it's been a great week because we've had all the pupils back and we were able to get all the pupils back on the 8th uh, of March, which has been absolutely brilliant. The pupils have come in um, and they've slotted straight back into their learning. Um, they've had to put up with new restrictions like the face mask and they've done that without any moaning and they're really keen just to get back into their lessons and concentrate on their learning. Um, other things which have happened this week, we had news night in on Monday which many of you will now have seen and on top of that we've been doing all our testing. As of this moment we've done over 3,000 tests now and all of those have been negative and we are now moving on to our home testing. So for years 11, 12 and 13 um, and some year 10s who have completed their third test, we are now giving them out today um, a box with their COVID-19 self-test kit and they get a leaflet about how that is done as well and how they should carry that out and how you need to report that. Um, so that needs to be reported and there is a, a website in there, a government website which you can report it on but we also um, are required to uh, keep a record of the test results. So uh, I have put this in the letter which went out yesterday so all parents should have, have got a letter on that and our email address is lpa-covid at lydiaparkacademy.org.uk and all you need to do is put your child's name so for instance I put on the letter Harry Potter the date so if it was today 12th of the 3rd um, 2021 and then what the, posit uh, what the result was whether it was positive, negative or invalid okay and that will help us because we need to track all the tests um, which is quite a task in itself in order to do now, as I said, everything has gone really quite well this week. One thing which we weren't quite happy was, with was the arrivals at the start of the day and the staggered seem to have got concertina. So we are changing it slightly and I will put this out in a letter. So we would like year 11 in by 8.25 in the morning um, and so that they can be ready to start at 8.30. The reason we put the year 11s in first is because they've got their, all their assessments coming up and again, I've sent parents of years 11 and 13 a letter home today about how we are going to assess grades. So it's really vital that year 11 are in school as much as possible. Then um, if we get year 10 in for uh, an 8.30 start and year 9, they should be arriving between 8.30 uh, for an 8.40 start. Year 7, they should come between 8.40 for an 8.50 start. Um, year 8, they should arrive between 8.50 and be ready for a 9 o'clock start. And hopefully that will mean that there's less pressure on the front gate at the start of the day. Uh, year 12 and 13 is the same as normal and the stagger at the end of the day is the same as normal. Now that would really help us out if parents can um, get their children just to um, keep to those times. So finally from me, I'd just like to thank... Um, all the staff who've welcomed the children back and um, we've got a great learning environment and also the testing team because they have rattled through those tests um, and they've got all the pupils um, through their three tests. We've only got um, some pupils, some year nine pupils to do on Monday and a few people who've missed one or two tests but they've done a fantastic job which means that we can get back to a more ordinary school environment which is brilliant. Have a great weekend.